The roost is up. We want everything gay and we're not going to stop until we get it. Video games, TV shows, movies, musicals, comic books, cartoons, all of it has to be wrapped in pride flags or we're not satisfied. At least that's the narrative I'm getting from a lot of these bobbleheaded bigot pundits on social media who are going on and on about the sweet baby ink stuff connected to video games and video game development as a consultation firm, because that's the thing is Sweet Baby Inc. is a consultation firm. If you haven't heard about this drama over the last couple of weeks, there's been sort of this like exposed situation with Sweet Baby Inc., which is kind of weird because their website has existed all of this time. <laughs> they were not hiding any of the projects they were working on. So this idea that they're being exposed for some kind of insidious thing is just complete misrepresentation and deception, really, uh, because it's, it's, not all, it's not that at all. Um, so what does Sweet Baby Inc. do? To sum it up, they are a consultation firm that helps with diversity and representation in video game projects. Like producers, directors, writers can go to them and they pay them some money. They come in, they look at what they have and they go, hey, you could do this to make this more authentic, more representative of like today's world, if that's what you're going for in your game. Literally, they are there to consult. And they've already made it very obvious they're not part of some like points program or anything like that. They are literally a consultation firm that is there to help with those things. But these guys here on YouTube would have you believe that they are driving the writing and storytelling and game to the point where they are making the entire games. They are writing these entire games with all of this like ideology and stuff in it because they want to turn it into something bigger than what it is. So let's go ahead and debunk that right away. If Sweet Baby Inc. was full of people that were capable of writing games, writing these stories, making these things happen, why on earth would they be a consultation firm and not a company that makes their own projects? Why would they do that? Why would these studios uh, pay them to do this, to come through as a secondary person, group of people, secondary party, come in and, and help with these things if they could just pay them to write it from the beginning? Why would they do that? I know there's probably conspiracy theories out there about that, but it doesn't make any sense from a financial standpoint. Why would they pay an extra group of people to do a job that they could just pay them to do it from the beginning? That seems really stupid. They don't want to talk about that. They don't want to even bring that up because obviously a consultation firm is literally writing these games, writing all the dialogue, doing all the casting, literally they're doing all these things and getting paid a fraction. So like Sweet Baby Inc. is like, I'm going to take less money than all of the people working on these projects to come in and not actually be a consultation firm, but be everything on that project that you need to happen, whether it be a writer, director, actor, whatever you need, that's what they do. That's that's what they would have you believe. And then this whole thing with as heel versus baby face and the pronoun rant, like he's people are saying he's justified because he acted like an idiot on camera and screamed and hollered about optional features in a game that takes place 300 years in the future they're saying he's justified because this company that has absolutely nothing to do with Starfield is a diversity consultation firm. So in their mind, somehow it's all justified. There's just, there's not a lot of, there's so much empty space in their heads that I think sometimes they can't connect all the story. Like everything's so spread apart because there's just nothing filling up the space. Um, the other thing I want to mention is if it were possible, because they seem to believe that gay people, marginalized communities, queer people, trans people, that there's this power that we have to take over everything in the world. Looking at the way things go, if you like, if you were looking at this logically, and they're not, but if you were, and there was like some magic wand, some fairy wand that I could use to make everything better, like, I don't know, make it so these channels don't harass gay people all the time, that would be a start. Uh, like have less toxicity, around queer people in general and public have it. So lawmakers aren't trying to take away rights from us. Like if we had that much power, don't you think we would have already used it? If there was some magical way to do that, because we're being painted as like boogie people that have all this power. that can come in and, and change everything in the world, but we make up such a small percentage of society. And it's like, at a certain point, you have to understand that it's a ridiculous idea that, the gay card carrying people in the world, the trans card carrying people or queer people in the world, whatever, however you want to say it, that we have this ability to make things better for us, but we just choose not to do it. We choose to do it in the hardest way possible. Like coming up with a consultation firm for marginalized communities that just helps with the narrative in games. 
that is a tool for people to use. If in fact we were doing all of these things and we had the power to do all these things, wouldn't we just be doing them? And if we were, wouldn't it be covered up in a way that you wouldn't even know it? I mean, I feel like it's just a weird thing that we're so smart as gay people <laughs> that we're able to do all of these like almost insidious, you know, like uh, to a uh, Cobra <laughs> type stuff from GI Joe, where we're inside governments and, and facilities and businesses and doing all this covert stuff. But we're also really stupid because of the pronoun things. And we're really dumb because of all the pride events we have. Like, which is it? Which are we masterminds? Is that truly what we are? Or are we bumbling idiots? It's really hard to walk that line when you're saying that we have the power to do all these things at the same time, losing the war on woke. And the people that watch these channels just eat that up. They're like, oh, they're, they're, it's so bad. They're doing so many awful things. They have all the power in the world. They're connected to this big company and this big company or whatever, but they're also losing the diversity war. So controls everything, makes everything awful, but also losing at the same time. You see what I'm saying? Like, do you understand? Something up here is not working. And the people that watch this content, that buy into this, all the conspiracy theory, whatever, I mean, I've seen it in real time. We've watched videos where people go to like a lot of these Trump rallies and they believe that Trump is still president, but also Obama is controlling Biden, who is making all the decisions, even though Trump is still president. And somehow in their minds, all of that conflicting information just works. So it doesn't really surprise me that a lot of the people in this space aren't capable of sitting back and going, these, all of these things cannot be possible at the same time. They can't exist in the same narrative. But these guys, they keep you move so quick, so fast with them, the way they jump from one subject to the next, that you almost don't have time to think about. It. If you're lost in the sauce, if you were lost in the sauce of this and you're caught up in it, it's going to be so fast or probably not. It's like whiplash. Do you remember some of the other stuff they've complained about over the years? Uh, in the last year, probably, maybe a little bit more, that have been brought up as problems and there's no solution to it. You remember CRT? That just kind of went away. Nobody cared about that. Uh, drag story hours. Was, was there ever a resolution to that? What about Target? The swimsuits, the t-shirts, all of that. Did that go away or can you go on Target right now and buy that stuff? Spoiler alert, you can go buy it right now. So all of these battles they're fighting, they're made up battles. And I keep having to say this because I feel like a lot of you guys out there who are finding me for the first time may not have seen me talk about this before. And there's a lot of you people out there that hate watch me. And I'm hoping eventually some of this will get through and you'll start to at least consider that maybe you don't have to listen to them and you don't have to listen to me. You can just make your own decisions. Um, it's just, this is really stupid. It's really, really stupid. They're riding the grift on this. It's getting a lot of numbers. It's getting a lot of views right now because this community is primed and ready for the next conspiracy theory. They, they are foaming at the mouth, waiting for that bell to ring for the next discovery expose to pop up so they can just latch onto it and ride around on it for a few months. It's just, it's not real life. It's not. It's almost like reality TV. Uh, essentially it's just entertainment, but the problem is this is entertainment at the expense of people's jobs, at the expense of real people who exist in the real world. Uh, while all these people on YouTube, a lot of them that don't even show their faces on camera, get on here and just shit on this stuff and make up all these lies about communities and things like that. So, you know, for me personally, I have to call it out. I probably won't talk much about this anymore, even though I can just like them ride the algorithm on it. Uh, but I'm not. I just want to get it out there and put out how ridiculous it is. Eric here. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting subscribe, engaging with the like system, and leaving a comment down below. Every single number helps with a smaller channel like myself to increase my outreach to everyone here on YouTube and outside of this platform. Also, if you'd like to support the channel and help keep the lights on in here, you can become a member of the channel, which helps me again as a small channel uh, navigate the system where YouTube doesn't like to promote this kind of content. So if you want to be a part of the change and be a part of the community, and interact with me and other people that feel the same way as we do, please consider subscribing and supporting the channel. I thank you guys so much, and we'll see you in the next video.